In the bowl I have two tablespoons of melted butter and I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of chopped garlic. Seems like a lot, but it's not. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to add quite a bit, probably a tablespoon of coarse ground pepper. And you, I don't have any uh, fresh thyme right now, so I'm going to use about a, uh, about a tablespoon of dried thyme. Give this all a stir. This is what I'm going to use to coat. prime rib. This is a standing rib roast or prime rib and this is what I'm fixing for dinner tonight. This has four ribs in it and you can estimate that each rib is two generous servings. So this will be enough for eight people. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, well, the, one thing I had the butcher do is I had him cut it along the bone here um, just to the very end, and then he tied it in a butcher string. Wyatt, could you help me just videotape? Thank you, sweetie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put coarse salt on it. I've already dry, dried the roast with paper towels. forgot to mention that. I'm going to put some coarse salt on it. Then that rub that I made, I'm just going to start spooning it on. I'm going to turn it over because you want the fat calf up when you roast it. important thing that I do is I take my um, roast out of the fridge for an hour or two hours before I start roasting it because you kind of want it to come up to room temperature a little bit. You don't want to just cook it right out of the refrigerator. You want to you know, bring it out a few hours before you're going to cook it. That looks pretty good. I have the oven preheated at 450 degrees. And for this size roast, for a nine pound roast, we're going to put it in the 450 degree oven that's preheated for 30 minutes. What's that, what that's going to do, it's going to caramelize all the fat and stuff on it. And I use this V-rack. I think it's important to have it where the air can circulate around it. After the 30 minutes are up, then what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the oven temperature to 325 and I'm going to cook it for an hour and 45 minutes and then I'll check the temperature just to be doubly sure but it's going to come out perfect because I've done it a million times <laughs> all right okay it's been 30 minutes and you can see how it's gotten a nice crust on there I turned the oven down to 325 and we're going to let it go for an hour and 45 minutes okay I've had it resting for 15-20 minutes and Ken's getting ready to carve this bad boy up Perfect. That's a good looking prime rib. I told you. 30 minutes at 450 for a nine pound roast. Cut it back to 325 for one hour, 45 minutes. Take it out. Let it rest for 15 minutes, tinted with foil. Perfect.